Okay, ready? Yeah, you ready? I'm gonna say it at two time or. One, two, three. We, we got, got engaged. engaged. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Bianca. This is Colin. What up? We're fiancés. <laughs> I didn't really have plans to do this video and upload it today, but now that you know things have changed, <laughs> this <laughs> is today's video. Her. So I just wanted to update you guys because we posted to like Instagram and our Facebooks to, and told our family and stuff. Yeah. But I just wanted to kind of make a sit-down video, chat with you guys, kind of tell you the story of how he proposed, mm -hmm. things like that. But first, we wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been DMing us and reposting to their story and commenting and everything. There's so many of you yeah. trying to keep up, but thank, thank you. you so much if we didn't get back to you yet Thank you. We feel so loved and so happy and everything today's just yesterday. soaking in. Yeah, today they've just been really good days <laughs> So I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions I still have a lot of questions that I'm waiting to ask Colin in <laughs> another video So where I don't even know where we should begin. Should we tell the proposal story or? Sure. Okay, so what happened is I made plans based on the Super Bowl because mm -hmm. my sister uh, was available and wanted to get involved. So I came up with a plan because you have to have a plan for Bianca because she will not accept anything that is out of the norm. So I had to like plan ahead a few weeks and make sure that I told her what was going on. So it started out with me saying that my sister had invited us to go to an apartment downtown with her and her boyfriend that is her boyfriend's friends and they're going to a Super Bowl party there and said that we can come if we want. So I then was like, we should go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and uh, like kind of planted the seed, you know? So then fast forward, we were still planning to go and everything and Bianca brought up that she wanted to go to Merchant and Trade. Cause I saw on Instagram, they were opening that day at three mm -hmm. and I thought it'd be fun to like get some drinks. Yeah. You know? So Bianca wanted to do that before we went to the apartment. So then I made plans for my sister to join us there and met up with my sister when Bianca went to have a birthday day with her mom and they went out to celebrate. So I had like the whole day to myself. So I had like some secret errands to run and I went and met my sister at Chopped. And originally I had a plan to actually propose to her at an apartment downtown because through the connections I have through my work, um, I made this deal based on this video I was shooting to have a night stay in this like luxury penthouse apartment uptown. So, which we're still going to stay in next weekend mm -hmm. for like a celebration weekend. Um, but plans fell through on that and got moved to next weekend. And, but I was still completely ready to propose and just wanted to go through with it and do it cause I was ready. And me and my sister met up and we had to come up with something new cause I was like, well this didn't happen, so now we gotta figure out what to do. I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is awful. I was like, I couldn't think of anything worse to happen. But then me and my sister kept talking and talking. And I was like, I was like, we just really need a good view. And Reagan was like, well, I mean, where do you wanna go? And she brought up like a few things and a parking garage, cause her boyfriend took a picture on his parking garage. And I was like, ah, but I don't wanna do a parking garage. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, it's not good enough. And then I was like, but Bianca wants to go to Merchant and Trade. So we could still keep the plan because otherwise we'd have to scrap everything. I have to convince Bianca that everything's normal and she'd get all suspect. And I was like, there's no way we can't cancel. So then um, we went ahead and went through with it based on the merchant and trade thing and just kept Bianca believing that we were still going to the apartment afterward and we were just going to get drinks there before. So that's how it went after that. And then leading up, I was so nervous, oh my god. Like the whole freaking day, I was like trying to act as calm <laughs> as possible. And Bianca said she had no clue, so that's no, good. No, not I feel, at all. I feel super amped about that. I just had no clue, because one, I mean, like I knew, because we had talked about getting engaged, like I knew it was coming in the yeah. future, but I had no idea it was that day, and everything was so chill. We yeah. laid on the couch, and we were watching a TV show all day, mm -hmm. and he just was not acting nervous at all. And I, I I just yeah. didn't even know. I was so, so like, completely shocked. Um, I'll tell this. So the day before, Bianca and I went to the movies. Like I made plans. I was like, hey, we should go to the movies. 
um, because I still didn't have the ring in my possession. The ring was at my parents' house because I was like, I'm not going to keep it here. What if Bianca goes in my closet or something and sees it on accident? Um, so made plans for 7 o'clock to go see the new Gretel and Hansel movie, which... Don't go see that. Don't go see it. <laughs> not gonna, I just really didn't like it. Um, if you're like a horror buff, I don't know if you're going to like it. It just wasn't scary. Like, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't enjoy it. But anyways, made those plans so that my mom could come here and sneak the ring in. So I left my keys in my car in the center console and left my car open and told my mom what we were doing and like told her to come sometime when we were at the movies. So she came, got the keys out of my car. She like, stuck she, like videotaped, she videotaped the whole thing. Doing it. It was so um, funny. Yeah, it was really funny. And then she came in, put it in my bottom drawer in my closet. And then, yeah, that's how the ring got here. So then we came back, we don't get no clue. And then the next day comes, blah, 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 we're getting ready. Um, while we're getting ready, Bianca's like out here on her computer at one point. And that's when I like snuck the ring out and like it was in the box still. And also sometimes I pick his outfits yeah. and I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I want to wear a jacket. I have to wear a jacket. Like I really want to wear a jacket. But I, but I didn't say no, it No, like it wasn't that. like that. I didn't emphasize it how you're saying. You're right. You know what I mean? Like I didn't make it like, obvious. I was just no. like, what about this? I kind of want to wear the jacket. Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was not emphasized. Yeah, you, you made it. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, but he, he, okay, I was very much exaggerating, but he mm -hmm. made sure he wore a jacket. Well, I had to have a jacket, otherwise my pants are so tight that you, there's no, there's no hiding it. <laughs> my pants are so I mean, they are, like, I, I like tight-fitted jeans, so it's like, there's no he way. He to show off his booty. You know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, so, I was, like, in the room, like, putting it in, like, the side pocket of my jacket, and I was like, because you could see, you can kind of see it if you stared at it, mm -hmm. but if you're just looking at me, you wouldn't have a clue. Mm -hmm. But if but Bianca, I was like, oh god, I wonder if she's already suspect. Because we were at the grocery store and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, okay, I asked that because he was all over the place. Yeah. He was like here and there and forgetting this well, and forgetting that. Yeah, I was kind of all, all stuff, over the place. And I was like, are you good? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a lot of people here. Yeah, but there really, <laughs> there really was. was. It was, yeah, very, it was pretty cool. overwhelming. But um, yeah. So anyways. We also went to the store before mm -hmm. and got brownies because I told her like, well, we should, well, we agreed we should like bring some food because other people were bringing food. My and sister said she was going to bring food and it was going to be like a bunch of people bringing their own dishes and we just all shared at the apartment. And I didn't want to meet her friends for the first time and come empty handed, yeah. but eat and their food. Eat like their that's food. just weird and yeah. disrespectful. So I was like, oh my God, we have to bring food. So I feel like that was the seal the deal moment yeah. where it was like making her really believe this is what we're doing because we and like bought something for it. I'm so like type A introvert this whole day. I'm like, oh, I have to like hang out with these people I've never met before yeah. and do all this stuff. So I was like just nervous because of that the whole time. Yeah. Even in the car, you were like, are you okay? I was like, I think I'm just Yeah, she nervous. seemed really nervous. I was like, is she picking up on what's going on? I was like, oh my God. Because <laughs> she was so nervous to meet the people. But I was like, is she nervous because she knows what's happening? <laughs> You're like paranoid. Yeah, I was like, but I was like, must remain calm. Must remain calm. <laughs> no, I was simply just nervous because I like was about to hang out yeah. with people I've never met before, and that sometimes just really freaks yeah. me out. So we got dressed, hid the ring in my pocket. I even, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't tell you this, but I even put like toilet paper like on the outside of the box, what? like in my pocket to cushion it, so you couldn't see like the edges. <laughs> And it didn't really work that well, so I ended up taking it out. Okay. But anyways. <laughs> like, I don't remember seeing questions. So we get in the car, and we go. My sister and her boyfriend are running a little behind, so we wait on them, and we just sit and play trivia crack in the car. Like, you know. Like we Like we do. <laughs> anyways, so following that, they got there. Um, we went up, uh, like, as they were parking and got ourselves a table outside. Oh, and when we got there, they were like, bar or table? Oh, yeah. And I was like, ooh, bar. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They asked me, they were like, bar or table? I was like, table. I was like, table? Was she like, bar? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, table. <laughs> and um, plus it was nice out. I was like, why are we not going to sit outside? So um, anyways, yeah, so we got a table outside. Bianca went to the bathroom. Then I went to the bathroom. We both had to go to the bathroom so bad. Anyways, then my boyfriend, or <laughs> my sister and her boyfriend come up. And we're all just hanging out. We get some oh, drinks yeah. and we're just like talking, catching up. Um, having a good time. I mean, honestly, it was just like hanging out and then just like talking. Mm -hmm. So then that went on for a while, probably like 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And we were just still hanging and we moved a few times because the sun kept getting in our eyes. <laughs> but 
uh, and then like about like it was nice because there was more people there when we originally got there. There was probably like twenty ish, twenty five people there. Oh my goodness! And wait, hold on. Okay, try now. It was really nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really nice when we got there because. There was only like 25 people there, but by the time we were getting close to me actually popping the question, probably like almost 20 people were gone. Mm -hmm. And like there was a huge party that left, and then there was like two people that were like near the photo area where we were going that and they left. Got up, yeah. And it was nice, there was only like maybe four or five people there. And the people Other that were us, there were like, whoa! Yeah. So it was really nice um, because it was more private, mm -hmm. uh, which I wanted and she, I think Bianca preferred. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, by that time my sister was talking about like taking photos and how they wanted some photos and if we wanted some. Mm -hmm. So then uh, we said yes and then I got up to take their photo first. And I luckily was filming a weekend in my life. So I had my vlog camera because mm -hmm. I was, I like wanted to vlog merchant and trade because you guys always ask for cool places in Charlotte. Yeah. And that's a really cool place. And plus I was like, oh, maybe like they'll want pictures and then they could take our picture on our camera because like we looked good that yeah. day. So it was like, I, you know, you know the deal. It was just very lucky that I was vlogging that weekend. Yeah, it truly was. Anyways, so got up did that i was taking their photo mm -hmm. and then it came time for us to take our photo so then flashback to when i was at chopped with my sister while bianca was with her mom we were talking about this scenario and like doing it through pictures and uh i had to like tell my sister like how to actually use it because there was like the red button on the side to actually hit record and i was like just make sure you hit that and then i'll <laughs> she was originally going to be did like did you bring my camera there huh did you bring my camera? No, I didn't. I didn't oh, bring okay. a camera, but I told her like where it was. It was like near the thumb area. Mm -hmm. And originally my sister was like, well, I could just be like, oh, I accidentally hit it. And then you go. And I was, I was like, no. And then what we ended up doing was she was like in position to take the photos. And we were, me and Bianca were both posed and ready. And I was like, are you ready, Reagan? And she said, yeah. So then as soon as she did that, I turned Bianca toward me. And I said some stuff. <laughs> said a lot of things. I said a sentence, and then after saying that sentence, I got down on my knee and I kept going. Um, Bianca was flailing, and <laughs> I didn't know what to do. With and my arms. Um, yeah, and I got down on my knee. I got down on my right knee, um, and I pulled the ring out of my pocket, and I opened it and I asked her, "Will you marry me?" And then. <laughs> She said yes, gave me a kiss, and then I stood up, and the people were cheering, mm -hmm. said woohoo, they were like, put it on her finger, and I was like planning to anyways, so I was like, okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and then I grabbed her hand, I put it on her finger, and then we hugged some more, and then... Uh, Reagan got a lot of pictures. Reagan, yeah, my sister took a lot of our pictures after that, and we stayed and had some more drinks, and then... Um, Ended up just going back home and watching the Super Bowl at my parents' house and yeah, spending time with them. The Super Bowl, like yeah, nothing I, was open. Yeah, like, I was really looking nice online because I wanted to take her to the melting pot because it's like it's our, our place, place. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't open. And I was like, well, dang, I, that, that like kind of ruins everything. I don't want to celebrate if mm -hmm. we're not going to go to the melting pot. And then I looked at a few other places that I really wanted to take her to, and they were also closed. And I was like. We just need to celebrate a different day. And I'm getting, we're getting the condo, the penthouse condo next weekend. So we might as well just make it like a week of doing exciting things. And then next weekend is like the culmination of like the celebration. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that was pretty much the story. Mm -hmm. Here's my ring. Here, hold it there for a second. Okay. Ooh. That's oh, yeah. what it looks like. <laughs> she cute. <laughs> so, um, so the plan is, because I have a lot of questions for Colin mm -hmm. that just because I love to know things. So since I wasn't really like a part of any of the planning, obviously, I just have like backstory questions that I'm curious. It's like, just, I'm curious. And I'm sure you guys have questions too. So I'm going to be asking on my Instagram story, but if you want to leave any questions below for a question, like Q&A thing for Colin, leave those comments below so we can make sure that we answer them. And then questions that aren't answered, we'll probably answer them up like on our next upcoming podcast episode. Just a lot of content. <laughs> yeah, so leave those questions below if you have any like other detailed questions or questions for me. We're just gonna do like a huge Q and A. But what's important is that I surprise an FBI agent. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I had no idea. I seriously didn't. It was my I, biggest worry the whole time. I thought one day was, that I would totally figure it out and I would totally know just because yeah. that's the way that I am. But So many questions. Mm -hmm. oh, what are we doing this? What, what's going on? Why are we doing this? Like, if anything's out of the norm at all. It's just like... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are engaged. Yeah. So, let the wedding planning begin. Let the wedding series begin. We're so excited. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for just being the best and, and following us and coming with us on this journey. I'm super excited. We're both are. Yeah. Just overjoyed. Honestly, still hasn't really sunk in. We're I know. We're filming this the day after, yeah. so. We've been, like, looking at each other like, oh, my God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've just, yeah, it's just been surreal. So, yeah. thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed. Stick around, and I'll see you guys in my next video.